Darren, we, we spoke, uh, was it nine days ago after the Barnet game, you said it was the most challenging period in your time here at Woking. Uh, you said that we just had to battle our way through. You can't write a month off, you just have, we just have to battle our way through. And we've we've done that with flying colours, I would suggest, in the last last couple of games. Well, we, we have today. You know, we have today. We had to try and find a different way. I've always said this, it doesn't always come across great or sound good in, in difficult um, circumstances, but it is math. You have a problem, you have to solve it. And it you know, it's, we can't solve it straight away all the time, but <clears throat> within the last two games in particular, we've found a way with what we've got, and we've found a way to look like us mm. with what we've got. And it looks a bit <laughs> abstract at times, but we look like us. Today we look like us, Saturday we look like us. And we found a way to maximise you know, the, the sum of our parts over the last two games. And um, it's been a really tough month. You know, we're, we're, we're the coaching team, myself, we're, we're never afraid to um, sort of show some vulnerability to say it's been tough. Um, but we found a way, and I think that's the important thing. Yeah, yeah. And obviously Saturday, longest journey, longest journey in the league, and then today, uh, local, you know, local uh, opposition. So that always adds a little bit. So, what what was your take on today's performance? Well, I thought the energy and enthusiasm of the team was, was brilliant. Uh, I thought, especially for the first 25 minutes of the first half, it was a lovely harmony and flow. To our performance, so it wasn't that we were just winning the ball back. It was the, the transition after winning the ball back. It was very smooth. It was very harmonic. That's the first time we've seen that, and, you know, especially from the new the new players. We, we, there were th three out of the four midfield players were all our new additions, and I thought that um, some of the play was um, it was very appeasing, and very productive, and. We can all say we should have scored more, and of course, if you make lots of chances, you think you should be more productive than one. Um, but we're very dominant, we're very dominant. When you feel the energy, you feel energy. When you feel that good energy about the place, it's just important that you stay focused and you keep rolling that out, rolling that out. And I thought they did that very, very well today. And, you know, all of them is. I never really identify an individual because it's otherwise it'd be one v one. But it's eleven v eleven, and the team harmony today was was very pleasing. Yeah, if you looked from you know one to fourteen, you could see I think everyone did their job. You know, it's hard to pick out a player who didn't have a a good game today, and it was uh, it was very solid. So um, probably, I mean, as you say, it was very dominant, um, and then in the second half. I don't know whether it's fatigue, but they had a little bit more possession without, but we handled that quite well, didn't we, as they threatened a little. We didn't handle it quite well, we handled it very well. Yeah. Well, not to continue a shot at all. I'm yeah. always one for understatement. Yeah. But, but yeah, no, we handled I'm it. I'm always one for realism. Yeah. Our goalkeeper has made a save, which is a credit to not only the defensive unit that immediately is in front of him, yeah. but the wall of energy that was in front of him. Yeah. That wall of energy it means that the players got to the source of that attack very, very quickly. How many times did our fullbacks stop crosses? How many times did our central defenders and central midfielders block shots? Will Yeskalain and dealt with uh, the maybe the confrontational elements of the game that he had very, very well. The front two were outstanding in their energy to regain the ball high up the pitch and because we're winning the ball a little bit higher up the pitch we haven't got to play as much from deep um, and I thought that that is a that is a team strategy and the players brought that to life the players brought that to life and it was important that it was important today after the, the travel and the, the energy they put into gating it was important today that I could recognize that these players were going to see us through 10 months and be able to go through the wears and tears of 10 months and be able to play fatigue, to be able to play with an injury, to be able to play with strains, bruises, bumps, dead legs. And, um, you know, it was a big test for them. It was a big test because we all, we've all heard, I've even delivered in my career, long travel. You know, we had 14 hours on that coach, Friday mm. to Saturday. 
it was important that they delivered a performance that was worthy of their mentality and their, their values and behaviours. And they did that. They did that. It's, you know, they only want it's only today, but today they deserve the credit um, that's coming to it. Mm. And it is a 14-man game, so Boateng, Wilmot came under their bit, Dan and Lewis, and he nicked him with a with a goal towards towards the end, which must have been pleasing for him. But also, we've seen Ricky Gilboa get a second in a few days. It must be good to see new players coming into their own. Yeah, but they pay to. Yes. You know, they pay, they pay, this is a job. Yeah. They pay to. You know, if I want someone to build me an extension, I don't hire a plumber. I hire a builder. Denon's an attacking player. Mm. He goes on, he has to try and affect the outcome of the game. The, anal the analytical world of football now has gone too far. Mm. Far too far. There, there are players that make goals, there are players that stop goals, and there are players that score goals. They are the only things that affect outcomes of games. They're the only things that win points. Mm. All of the nonsense about possession, retention, yeah, it's great to be, you know, the dominant team of the ball. But it doesn't always help you win. Hmm. So it's important at clubs like this, ours, that we are grounded enough to know that we have to try and deliver what helps us win. Because everything else is irrelevant. The owners didn't came, come into the football club and say, within three years we want 80% of the ball. They didn't say we want to defend the box and counter-attack better than any other team. They said they wanted to win. Mm. And again, go back, it's, it's a job. Mm. You know, and then everyone is employed to deliver the objectives and aims of the of, of the head of the organisation. So, Denon did his job very, very well because he came on and scored. Ricky did his job very well because he scored. And the defensive nature of the team, the team, mm did its job brilliantly because they didn't score. Hmm. And if we stay on what is actually in front of our eyes, the objective information that is in front of our eyes, we'll all be a much better group because we'll always see the truth. Hmm. And then the truth today is that players defended brilliantly, absolutely brilliantly, and hmm. attacked well enough to win the game. Hmm. And, uh, and that's all we ever need to know about games. That's, that's it, the perception of it and what it looks like, it's, to me, has got to come second to let's try and win. Yeah, yeah. And finally, 88 fans at Gateshead on Saturday, 3,000 home fans near enough today. Yeah. Terrific, made themselves heard. And there'll be a lot lot more than 88 at Maidenhead next week. So the fans, are, it's, it's a good journey at the moment, a good day today. Incredible, a good atmosphere today. And the, you know, it would have been very easy again for the players to have, be low energy but they were high energy and the, the, the two of them bounce, you know, the players and the supporters they bounce I and mean, the players are high energy. The supporters are high energy and there's going to be times this year when we're low energy, they need to be high energy to get us, mm. you know, up. And um, but it's a wonderful relationship that they have, the players and the supporters. And um, hopefully, you know, the, the performance, the outcome will, will help encourage more to to support and um, build the football club. Brilliant. Well, thanks for your time. We'll see you in Maidenhead. Thank you.